Let's get this figured out This world gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn they love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for keeps She like to suck on the road Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy Coach DC coming back at you again today with another video, man. And uh, yeah, that's how we're gonna start this one off, man. But that's just a setup, a, a prelude of sorts to uh, what we're really gonna get into today. And today we are going to get into comeback routes, man telling you you guys are sleeping on the comeback routes the comeback routes are probably the most unstoppable route on this game uh, especially if you guys have been working on your low touch stuff and, and i know you have by viewing the comments some successfully some not so successfully and we're gonna get into a little bit of that too uh, as you see my boy kyler dropping one in the bucket as usual and the comeback routes, they, they, it's, it's a great way to sustain a drive. And uh, ooh, I just had to show y'all that. That was, that was nasty. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna show y'all that again in practice mode. But that was nasty right there. But anyway, like I said, man, the comeback routes, man, are, um, I mean, it, it, it is the, to me, it's the best way to s sustain a drive. It's the best way to sustain a drive. Um, I mean, just looking into it, man, it, it's hard to user it because you can't, it, the break on the route is so late, it's, it's hard to determine whether the guy is actually gonna keep going straight or he's gonna break it off. Um, the better the route runner you have, um, the nastier it gets, man. I mean, you can do it with anybody. As you see, I'm just going through the a bevy of quarterbacks here. Um, I don't even know who this is. Oh, Ryan, oh, Fitz Magic. Watch Fitz Magic. Right there, him of 78 arm strength, or whatever that is. Even Lamar, man. I've had guys tell me, oh man, Lamar can't throw. And most guys just get Lamar just to run. Dude, imagine being able to scramble, but drop it in a bucket. I'm telling you, man, these routes are nasty. Like this right here, watch the guy come up. <laughs> no contest. Y'all gonna make me go find me a little young dog, man. I'm gonna part all this knowledge into him with that young, you know, he got all that young, them, those young reflexes, man. You know, y'all gonna make me get me a young dog, man. We gonna come take this thing over. I'm gonna get me a couple of them, man. Put this knowledge in them. Good old Sam. Another. Up, up, up. Sorry. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> Do not test my user. Gotta have one of those moments as uh, we go on to make a nice little house call here. But anyway, let's get back to what we're doing here. As you can see, I mean, in, in what makes the comeback route so great is it's it's a great route against the blitz. Oh God, it is a blitz killer because you think a lot of these a lot of these blitzes these guys end up sending seven. When they send seven, there's nothing underneath the coverage except for them. And they can only be in a certain amount of spots. And so if, if you can master your blitz pickup, you know, uh, keep your tight end in on a delay route. Don't let them go out. That's how you pick up the blitz, fellas. Keep the back end. I mean, even with Haskins, man, any quarterback on this game, as I've been telling y'all, uh, probably for the last couple of months, you can throw these routes with anybody, especially, man. If you've been working on your low touch stuff, man, the comeback route with the low touch, whew. I mean, as you see in these clips, the linebackers basically just stand there. Look at here's another seven man rush. Uh, uh, I wish I knew how to get up uh, with Odell and run, but I mean, anybody, Jameis, it doesn't matter. I'm telling you. If you can figure out your route combinations, you know, run a chase route, anything up underneath the comeback route is going to clear it out for it it doesn't matter whether it's man to man 
doesn't matter whether it's zone. I mean, the only thing that really gives it trouble is, or, or you would have to be careful about your throws, would be the Tampa 2, one of those type of defenses. But those are so predictable. All you do in those is give up touchdowns. So, you know. But we're going to jump into it. Um, one thing I want to tell you guys, when you're learning how to throw, and I meant to tell you guys uh, this in the last video, and I apologize. The first thing you do when you guys want to... When you're working on this low touch thing, go into practice mode and with no defense on the field. If you do it, you, you sit out there and make your throws with no defense on the field and, and it will help you tremendously. I mean, I see a lot of comments, guys come back, oh, it doesn't work. And I'm like, no, because the first thing you tried to do was run out there and play a game and do it. And you, you, you don't even have any idea how it works. All you know is what I told you about the buttons. You have no idea about the timing, about the touch, about how, how you have to figure out the, the quarterbacks. They all have different deliveries. They all have different arm strength. They all have diff different accuracies. So you, you have to be able to work with the quarterback. So like during this practice mode, I'm going to play. I'm, uh, well, I'm going to practice with Lamar Jackson. My first time ever playing with him. Like, like seriously, like I've never, ever, ever once picked up the Ravens. Not once. And so. It, it takes a minute, you know, even for me, I had to, I'm going to show you guys later, later on in some practice clips, like my first few throws with Lamar Jackson, it was horrible, like, because I just didn't know, but it, you know, it took me my, probably about 10, 15 minutes to kind of, kind of figure him out a little bit. And then you'll see towards the end of the, the video, what exactly I was able to do once I figured out his throwing motion, you know, his, his throwing power and all this stuff. So this is me after I figured it out. So come to Roberts, right over there on the left-hand side, you know, going into the replay, you'll notice, that, I mean, this is Madden. So we, we all understand that the linebackers are basically useless, especially against the low touch. The linebackers, it, 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 underneath, a linebacker being underneath, unless you're clicking on to him or using him, what? What difference does it make? I mean, right over his head, he does nothing. Now. One way to pick it off for me is I, I double click or you delay click if you know that that's what the, the, uh, the offensive guy is throwing, but there's no way for you to really know that. So if you double click, if they give you the back guy first, let's say you're in a cover three with, uh, with the cloud flats underneath, like if you click, to, you hit B twice. So it's the first time it's probably gonna give you the corner or the over the top guy. And then if you click again, it'll give you the underneath guy. And that's how you can pick it. But, you, but that takes, uh, what do we call that thing again? Skill. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting word, that skill thing. Uh, not a lot of that going on. Um, I think, and I keep telling you guys, it, it, it took me two and a half months or two months almost to really get this stuff down as you see the, the wicked separation right there. Um, as Brown comes back, you see Van Noy there, ball goes right over his head, no touched. Watch the separation in the route. Same thing. Gilmore is going to turn his hips. He's in a cover three, but he's pressed up. Well, he's in a cover four, actually, but uh, pressed up. I think this is drop show. And so watch. Watch the separation right there. Ball. Here comes the ball. Low touched. Clicked on A. Coming back towards the ball. Going down. And I mean, it's not just subject to the outside. Those the comeback routes can be thrown anywhere inside, outside. Um, this is one of my little pet favorite plays or com route combinations I like to run right here. You know, what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually have two side by side and then I'll drag somebody underneath to clear it out. And then I just pick whichever one the user doesn't go to. It's, it's really actually that simple. I keep seven in. I could, I could probably do this all the way down the field. It just gets boring after a while to me. So look at the inside guy, wide open. But nah, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna throw it to the outside guy just to show you one more time. Linebacker basically sits there and does nothing. If you don't double click or you're not usering or, or the user's not there, then hey, if the user was with Roberts, I would've went to Brown. You know, user went to Brown, I would've went to Roberts. And, and, and I'm running the reverse, uh, excuse me, the reverse flood concept that I showed you guys in the high-low video. Man, the, the reverse flood concept is a beast with this because the, I can basically hit this drag route all day. 
I can hit that drag route all day. But as you see, right there inside, nice low touch throw, clicked on, come back to the ball, A and down. And I mean, it's really that simple. So my advice for, to you guys would be, if you want to work on your low touch, this is the route to work on it with, the comeback route. I mean, and it works pretty much with everybody. Like, you, you'd be surprised. And the thing is, if you're playing winning football, you know, the deep ball and the back shoulder phase and all that stuff is great. It's nice. And, and actually, somebody said something in the comments this week. Um, it, it was kind of a little whatever. But he said Madden, the momentum in Madden basically won't allow you to go deep every play. And you know what? He was actually right. Because it won't. I mean, there, it's just some games you'll play. Like I said, it'll feel like you have on a thousand pound weight vest. You know, you can't make a throw. You can't get anything right. And even even with the comeback routes, you know, sometimes you can throw them wrong. Bullet passing them too much is not good um, unless they're wide open like that in the slot. You know, Sneed right there in the slot or whoever that is um, right there. Yeah, that's a clear window. I can bullet pass that, but you better make sure that this linebacker over here is not, nobody's in front because they will slice right in front of you and get the pick. I have seen it happen. So you just have to be careful. Like on this one, I probably would actually throw it low. On this one, I probably would, you know, bring the ball down a little bit because the window's clear. But it's, it's like I said, it, it's kind of risky, but that's timing. Look at that, right there, perfect. Right in the window, they run into each other and you know, <laughs> It's crazy but like I said man I mean coming out here with Lamar this this is like one of my first couple of throws like when I got out here in practice mode look at this pick just like that because I I, I, I don't know his throws or, I, or at this point in time I didn't know his throws so I had to sit here and practice and that's what practice is man we talking about practice fellas we talking about practice man we talking about practice you're not going to have it down immediately so st stop running back to me oh i went to the man i played a game and it didn't work you played a game and it didn't work because you just ran out there to play a game you have to practice this stuff like i said take the defense off the field and it will give you the muscle memory and, and feel for how to make the throws with the particular quarterback that you're using so as you see i threw a pick the first time i come back out and so that's how I practice. I'm going to sit there and I'm, I'll probably throw the same route. If I have to throw the same route a hundred times to, to figure out how to get some consistency with it, then that's what I'm going to do. You know, that that's a part of, you know, you, you have to want to be good at what it is you do. It's, it's not an easy fix. It's not just about hitting the button. You know, this is more than hitting the button. I know this is what Madden has, has programmed us to be in the last, well, in forever. It's always a quick fix, a one play touchdown. No, this is a skill. So if you can't do it, hmm, you know, but you can't say it doesn't work because I, I have too many success stories in the comments and people who have come to me on a personal level telling me this has changed their game, you know? So this, like I said, this is me practicing with, with just coming out before I even got to the point where I was gonna start throwing the, the comeback routes. I just wanted to get a feel for Lamar Jackson, period. I don't even know how to do the escape artist thing. That's that's a shame because I, I don't I, I have no idea how to do that. You know how to the pull, whole pulling the icon thing down, or running and then pulling it back up and throwing. No, nah, that's that's probably a little bit too advanced for me. I'm not that good. <laughs> anyway, so you know if you come out and, and and like on a on a route like this, I I could throw it back towards the right, back to his outside shoulder. But, you know, for the sake of the video, I'm trying to get this, trying to fit this in the window. And this was like, to me, this was a, a successful throw. And it was a successful throw to me because it actually hit his hands. And, and, and if the safety hadn't come over the top, I would have caught it more than likely. And so this gave me an idea to say, OK, this is OK. So with him on the seam route, this is how you have to throw the seam route. The comeback routes are different. You're going to have to sit there and practice these throws until you get the throws down before you run yourself out there and start trying to play games with it. Because I'm going to tell you, I said in the last video, I lost a ton of games to people I know I was way better than for the sake of trying to learn. So you have to decide what's important. Is your, your, your game pride important or is getting better important? So now 
Look at that. Learn how to scramble a little bit. It's a few minutes later. Oh. <laughs> and we have some EBP, you know, some little elite ball placement there in the back of the end zone. Uh, over three defenders. Look at Lamar. Turn his hips, look at square up, get his feet up under him, steps into the throw. I mean, this guy is in triple coverage. I think that's Boyle or whatever his name is. In triple coverage. Linebacker, I think it looks like he's trying to pass and interfere me or something. I don't know what's going on there. But look at this. That's elite ball placement. That's Lamar Jackson. I heard he couldn't throw in this game. I heard people just play with him just to run a hundred times. Actually, I've actually seen that. Hmm. Like I said, I'm gonna find me a young dog who know how to scramble. Boy, hmm. taking applications. But anyway, ooh, it's a few minutes later, man. See, now I'm getting busy with him. <laughs> Might actually play a couple games with this dude <laughs> just to get right. A few more games, rather. Because he is throwing motion. He has a, it is weird. Like with him, you can't really, you, your directional, like if you lead with Lamar Jackson, you have to kind of, you have to kind of lead up with him and not directly to the side because if you lead directly to either side yeah that ball is going any and everywhere and so that's what I mean that's the intricate part of learning the guy you're throwing with a lot of times you got you won't be successful at it if you don't practice it you know this ball comes in that's the same almost the same catch y'all saw uh, the 49er tight end make at the beginning of the video ah love I need to stop. I think EA is going to ban me or something for doing this kind of stuff to their guys. But anyway, man, just wanted to drop a little quick gem in here on you guys, man. I'm telling you, the comeback routes. Stop all that. I know you know how to, you're learning how to throw the back shoulder fade, and I know that's what's exciting. But this, not, not even this pass. No, I would never tell you throwing triple coverage unless you had to. But it's not a bad uh you know it's not a bad tool to have in your back pocket you know this is like a big joker <laughs> for all my spades players <laughs> man woo look at this McCordy Chung linebacker doesn't matter <laughs> Belichick Brady anybody <laughs> anybody can get it anyway man coach DC y'all know what it is man I appreciate the love Appreciate all the participation, man. And we're going to make this thing grow, man. We're going to blow this thing up, man. Coach DC, I am out of here.